Today I'm going to bring you some mods that make the game look absolutely incredible. Of course, you might dislike some of these, so any of them can be removed without an issue. I did create a similar video about seven months ago, and of course, a lot has changed since then. And in that video, I just showed off a bunch of mods without really checking for compatibility. But today, I've got a playset and load order that works without issue for you to use. And I will have a Steam playset linked in the description with all of these mods if that's easier for you. Anyway, first up today we have the Interaction Icon Project that fills in all those blank icon slots with new, well-designed and fitting icons while also redesigning the existing ones so they all have the same art style and nothing feels out of place. There is a bunch of new ones like for imprisoning, granting vassals, learning languages and well like i mentioned literally everything you may have noticed i did actually run this on my latest gameplay video and honestly expect to see it in all my videos from here on out colored titles portrait borders is by the same creator as the last mod but this one takes the title ranked portrait borders mod i'm sure we're all familiar with but slightly changes it up to match with another great mod, Coloured Tears, which changes the colours of titles, words in notifications and any other screens they may appear, with red representing a baron, green for a count, blue for a duke, a king's is gold and an emperor's is purple. This just makes it look way nicer with the matching portrait borders and for me personally it just looks great and is another mod I will be using a lot. Next up is Prowess Matters. And it's another mod that makes the UI look better while also just providing some extra usability. It's simple but incredibly helpful. Making a character's prowess visible when you're using the character finder, looking for marriages or simply checking out the list of your courtiers. Now I actually think about it, it is pretty weird that it's not already visible with the rest of the trait. But either way, this is a really nice quality of life mod. Dynamic character backgrounds basically just changes a character's backgrounds to better reflect where they are. So say a character is at war and they are currently leading an army through a desert. Well now they will have a matching background applied instead of still being in their castle and the same works for every type of terrain in the game. There's not really much else to say but I just really like the variety adds when looking at characters. Now you may have noticed I just love colour. Honestly setting something saturation up to 100% just looks way nicer to me. And advanced trait icons basically just makes all the traits in the game a bit more vibrant and simply better to look at. And they're not incredibly overdone and made into some sort of deep fried meme. They're done just right. As well as some minor changes to some of the icons like Overseer now having a red and blue background. And with the recent update to version 1.5 all the new icons are included as well. Like all the new traits people get for spending time at certain courts. They are upgraded and again look way nicer. The next mod is honestly just better on the eyes over long playing sessions and it's brighter text colours. I actually never used it until I decided to look for some mods for this video but it does exactly what it says and I'm sure it will be another mod I continue to use in almost all of my games in the future for the sake of my poor eyes. Next up is two different mods but I'll put them together. You both already know everything about them but I of course had to include the community flavor pack and ethnicities and portraits expanded for obvious reasons. Just their massive choices of new clothes that everyone wears makes a massive difference while playing. They just have such amazing looking outfits as well as the latest version of the community flavor pack adding some brand new courtrooms to the game that honestly look beautiful. Brighter Portrait 3 makes all the characters around the world just that tad less dark which is great to get a better view of all the new clothes we just mentioned. It's not a massive change, but with a playset like this, it's all of these great mods together that make a big difference in the end. Next, another nice change is that of Unit's graphics. That just adds some much needed color to the Men at Arms tab. It's by the same creator of the Advanced Icons mod we just talked about, so expect a very similar thing applied here. It just makes them pop a little bit more and I'm sure we can all agree that the vanilla graphics for these all look kind of washed out and gloomy, which I personally don't like. Height Traits is the last mod that directly affects how the characters will look in the game. And simply put, there's seven different options. You can actually choose your own height through a decision, but every other ruler automatically gets assigned one. From diminutive all the way up to enormous, each one does come with some stat differences. 
But for me, I just love this mod due to the variety it brings to the game. As typically, most people in CK3 are the same or just a very similar height. It's just nice to see characters of varying heights all across the world. Although, it does seem to have gotten a little bugged in the latest update. As diminutive people literally have the bodies of babies with ginormous heads. Although, funny to look at, it has been addressed and hopefully will be fixed at some point in the future. And quickly, before I get onto some of the map changes, there's a few mods that change things about the Royal Court, but I did recently cover them in my best Royal Court mods, so I'll be very quick. Choose Throne Room allows you to choose any throne room as your own, with any grander level, meaning you can have the courtroom you desire no matter where in the world you are. And with the Community Flavor Pack patch, you are able to choose from any of the new ones added there as well, giving you a massive choice of courtrooms, all quickly available to you. Then of course we have warmer Mediterranean courts. That just does some tweaking to the lighting and the colours of them, and it makes a surprisingly big difference to the look of Mediterranean courts. And next up is clear artifact level, which just adds some nice borders around different artifact levels, making it easy to distinguish their level and actually see if they're a unique one-of-a-kind artifact, while also looking nice, which let's be real is the most important part here. Next up is a mod I did include last year and that is of course IR Terrain. It brings the terrain textures from Imperator Rome, and it may be a slightly older game, but honestly, CK3 looks way nicer with this mod applied making all the deserts, snow and even holdings around the map just look better in my opinion. Now since I last talked about it, it has changed the sea from a light blue to like a deep dark blue colour, which I'm kind of split on, I'm not sure if I like it more or not. But if you do just want to remove the sea colour, they have told people how to do it, you just need to delete one file. And I'll put the instructions on screen now if you do want to go ahead and do that. And the IR Terrain mod, paired with the better camera zoom, is honestly a great pair. You can zoom in so much more and get right on top of a bunch of hold-ins or zoom in onto the coastlines. The game looks so different this far zoomed in. And if you'd like to get some cool screenshots or just simply check out some of the amazing big temples or cities around the world, this mod is for sure a must-have. Another one that aims to make the map just look that much cleaner is Wasteland Border Colour Remover. And you've probably noticed that dark red border around things like Impassable Mountains. But I think we can all agree, it does just kind of look messy and get in the way of the normal borders in the game. So this might not do a lot, but it does just really make a massive difference to the world map. Next up, we have Strategic Arrow. That makes the arrow showing your army's direction a nice white colour, while also giving it some variety depending on what the selected army is doing. By giving the arrow a tint of red if you're on the way to attack another army, or a blue colour if the army is retreating after a loss. And if you zoom out enough to get onto the paper map, all the lines are still clearly visible, making them much bolder and easy to see no matter what. Snow Without Patches does exactly what it says. As in vanilla, the snow can be barely noticeable at times, and this makes it much more apparent, making the seasons changing much more noticeable. There is also some other variants, like reduced snow if you want a lot less snow, or there's also snow with some patches if you want more, but not a lot. So there are options if you do prefer certain looks, but this is the one I prefer. Now I suppose the next mod is not strictly a graphics mod, but Better Coat of Arms Designer gives you a much bigger view of your designs while you're creating them, and makes them much easier to make. And with some other abilities like a grid overlay, and there's also two guidelines you can move around to get everything perfectly symmetrical, and makes creating detailed designs much, much easier. And paired with Cat's Coat of Arms Emblem, and more Coat of Arms backgrounds that each add tons of new possibilities for creating your own Coat of Arms, with over 100 new backgrounds and 2,000 new emblems between them. Now the thing I left for last was of course the map. I mean, there are many many different ones out there with vastly different styles, but lately I've really enjoyed using the redesigned map. It makes the paper map see a, like a nice light blue, with some changes to the realm colours, it also does remove the sea monsters and it adds a new wooden background to the world map. Although everyone's taste varies a lot, I know. So some others I can recommend are the Imperator map, Transparent map, OPB's map looks really nice too. But it is worth just going on the workshop and having a look for yourself because this sort of thing is very dependent on the person. But if you do decide you want a different one, 
just replace it out of the current load order with the one you prefer. So yeah, these are some great mods I hope you did enjoy. I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermia1, Irrelevant, Luke Jarrett, Zigadelic, Random Icelander and Dover404. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.